<laughs> so this is Echo Jr. Uh, yep. I've never personally played this game. I've I played the the original two Echo games, um, both of which are very difficult. Yeah. No, we just we just saw that Echo Jr. was like an option thing here, and we're like, hey, let's let's check that out and <laughs> see what this is all about. Oh, jeez. <laughs> So, I think maybe I'll choose this guy. <laughs> Wait, you get to choose which character you want to play here? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, you get to play as Echo, Echo Jr., or the Whale? Is yeah. that what's going on? I guess so. That's pretty cool. Uh, I also noticed they kind of updated the graphics a little bit. Yeah, a little Car bit. Kind of cartoonized them. Let's go here with the Whale. Use your sonar to find <laughs> your friends and then use it to find... Exit. The exit cliff. And look, it's got like a little easy password. It's only three characters. <laughs> wow, you are a freaking agile <laughs> giant whale. Oh, wow. What? So, by the way, just to, you know, make sure the episode starts off all prim and proper, uh, welcome to Operation Pixel. I'm still hanging out here with TJ. We just finished Echo. Now we're uh, playing... So, we're, we're messing around in Echo Jr. here. We're just, we're just exploring it a little bit. And while I, for a second there, I thought... Oh, my... oh, those are your friends up in the top left. Yeah. Those are the people you need to find. You need to find your uh, pufferfish and your, your manta ray friend. <laughs> oh, God, are those crabs? Oh, those don't seem so bad, though. They're just <laughs> going up in... Also, do you even have health? I don't even think I have health. Can you kill yourself? Is that your friend manta ray? I also, do... guess so. Yeah, try talking to him. Friggin' where are you going? The point of the level is to go find your friends. Well, well, it was weird, because, like... Yeah, see? It was weird. I was, like, looking at my Echo, and it was, like, bouncing back and forth, and I was, like, going, wow, is it, like, reflecting? But, yeah, I got my little mm -hmm. Stingray. Yep, that is ray. one person. I can't talk to anybody. <laughs> can't really seem to take damage. And... Oh, this is kind of weird. All these little fish. Yeah, they're doing, like, synchronized swimming or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, you must need uh, the glyph thing from your friends there to get through there. <laughs> oh, there's the puffer fish. <laughs> cool, I guess. So, so I guess the idea behind this game is, yeah, like Ootman was saying, we we got it's kind of like an educational. I mean, maybe a little bit. Kind of deal. I mean, th this is so far severely easier than the Echo I'm used to. Actually, I don't think we said that during the episode. I think we were talking about that between. Yeah. I, uh, I, yeah. Looks like I got. That is probably like the first of what's this six by three, so eighteen levels. I guess that'd be my guess. I'm one out of sixteen. Sing it all the crystals with your sonar until none are left. Alrighty. <laughs> crabs. I want to see if you can like kill crabs. yourself. Yeah. I know that's a weird thing to say when you're playing an orca. Which, by the way, I don't know if orcas use echolocation like uh, <laughs> dolphins do. So yeah, click the gold ones. Yeah, you can definitely tell this game was like made for, made to be a little bit easier. Yeah, this is definitely like this is an Echo Junior. This is Echo for babies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can still kind of like jump around and do crap. Mm -hmm. And but I am very spry for what friggin' <laughs> friggin' killer whale. You do seem uh, a little bit, perhaps more, uh, more agile, more more adept. Than I would have expected a, a giant freaking orca to be. <laughs> and now I am curious if an orca uses echolocation. I'll have to look that up later. <laughs> or if anyone in the comments knows, feel free to let us know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no one ever comments on our videos. It's fine if you don't. <laughs> These, uh, I think like there's one down there to the right. Yeah, the ones that you need to get reflect, and the ones that don't just kind of. I think they might all still count. It's just like not all of them visually just uh, add to your counter. You know what I mean? Like like the counter up there only has room for what uh, eight nodes. And I don't oh. know if there's. I see what's going on. It's it's if I echo like. Oh, it points you in the direction of where one is. Yeah, it kind of looks like it's kind of pointing where, it, pointing where I need to go. Hmm. It's kind of interesting. There's one more to go. It looks like. Maybe you were right about the colors. I mean, the rest of these are still getting in the way, so screw them, but... Nope, looks like I gotta go that way. 
So yeah, I can see how this would be uh, the kind of thing you want your kids to play. Sure. Yeah, I guess it is like Echo, but without like the terror, <laughs> the sheer terror of <laughs> being death. <laughs> and, yeah, it, a freaking <clears throat> storm wipes out your entire family and pod, and then you have to go on an adventure where things are trying to kill you, and you have to fight to survive. Yeah. Like, friggin', this is much more children-friendly. I mean, look, it's like, there, there's the first two levels, that's pretty easy. Yeah. I also think it's kind of cool that you can play as Orca. Yeah, yeah, no, it's actually kind of fun. And you can continue playing as Echo, you don't have to play as Echo Jr. Orcas are pretty cool. Yep. I wouldn't recommend trying to pet them, but... Yeah, well, they're also <laughs> known as killer whales. <laughs> So it looks like I need to find a seahorse. I don't even know what that second one is. Maybe like a blowfish or something? Not a blowfish, but like a... Um... Maybe it could even be an octopus. Oh, hey, you found the seahorse. At least that seahorse doesn't freaking kill me. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll, we'll know when we see it. Yeah, it looks but yeah, that does look kind of like an octopus tentacle there. Or some kind of like, um... One of those like weird things that floats around in the bottom of the ocean. I forget what they call like sea cucumbers or something. Yep. Oh, hey. that thing. Man, that thing looks derpy. <laughs> he's, he's, got some, he's got some pretty derpy eyeballs there. Yeah. Gee, I wonder if they tried to make this kid friendly. Yep. I mean, like, as a kid, like, just swimming around the ocean, like, you could probably get, like, you know, a little uh, freaked out just because, like, you don't know what's around the corner, but... Mm -hmm. Hold on, let's see if I can jump this. <laughs> kind of seems like you can't get as much speed as you can in uh, Echo either. Wow, that was a heck of a jump, though. <laughs> Just for fun. All these fish I can't eat. Oh! <laughs> I, I doubted you! <laughs> I actually did it. Yep. Can you imagine what it would be like to see, like, a worker just, like, jump out of the water and, like, bounce <laughs> just, like, the land itself there on the shore and bounce over and flip and roll? Oh, man. And this orca... This must be, like, a baby orca or something. Cause... Yeah, it must be. That's the only reason it could be, like, reasonably sized to, like, the dolphins. Uh, use your sonar. That's a good idea. So it's gotta be that way. On the other side of your weird island. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there it is! It is there. <laughs> weird little tentacly thing. Mm -hmm. Barnacle or whatever you want to call it. And that's what I was saying. It might be like a sea cucumber or something. I'm not super familiar with a lot of bizarre sea life. There really is a lot of weird things underwater, though, you know? Oh, yeah. There's like, a lot of... For all we know, there could be aliens underwater. <laughs> this is something I was thinking about, is that, like, people people talk about, like, you know, is, is there any other life out there in the galaxy? And I was like, dude, there's tons of life right here. I know. Like, the biodiversity on Earth alone is absurd. <laughs> like, yeah. even if you go underwater, it's like, things are so freaking different down there. It's <laughs> help, crazy. Help the seal find his favorite toy. <laughs> Is it a bird, a crab, or whatever the heck that other thing was? Yeah, I wonder, like, it's like, I don't think they oh, I guess can... you have to find the seal first. Never mind, I think that was the password. I don't think they that can... I was looking at. I don't think they can... Oh, like... that must be the seal's favorite toy. <laughs> I don't know if they can make this game any easier than it is. I mean, look at that, the crabs don't even hurt you. They yeah, just... they just bounce you back. You hear, like, this little, like, silly kitty music, and... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like, the crabs, like... Yeah, there's... There's no terror or fear in this game at all. It's like, oh man, this is so easy. These these youngins don't know what it was like to deal with crabs. <laughs> and even that, they don't know what it's like to deal with friggin' um... Watch as this game suddenly, like, adds, like, trilobites and time travel. <laughs> you know, knowing the way this game is going, I bet the next level is going to be help the trilobite find his favorite toy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the way this game is going. Yeah, they, 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 no, it's your sonar, man. This is very clear that this game was made for, uh, you know, you know, for kids. Yep. Um. You gotta find the seal. I think that I think the seal's what you're looking for right now. All the little, all my little sea buddies are just kind of hanging out. I think he's up and right still, maybe. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> oh, now you have to find his ball. I think you saw that, actually. I, probably... I forget where it was. There it is. Oh! Oh, there's some classic echo mechanics. Oh, do you actually have to push the ball all the way over to that stinking jerk? I guess I do. Okay, well, that, that's working a little bit better than I thought it would. So. This is obviously very kid-friendly. Yeah, it sort of makes me wonder, because I think you were saying during echo, I'm not sure if it was between episodes or not, 
but you were saying that the uh, developers might have thought it was like harder than they'd intended. And then I think you suggested they made Echo Jr. possibly as like a... Like, here, let's make Echo more accessible. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, a little too accessible, maybe. <laughs> and now he's playing with his ball and... Yeah, can you uh, talk to him again, or can you just go to the crystal now? You might just be able to go to the crystal. <laughs> oh yeah, you can, cool. I don't know what the gold ring is there for, but... Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know what that's about. Cool. Wow, we're already almost one-third to the game. Yeah, man, why don't you one more level, and then we'll just call this series a wrap. <laughs> yeah. Treasure caves. Find the treasure, but watch out for the playful dolphins. They may steal your treasure. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I gotta find the treasure chest. What does my radar say? If a kid can beat this game, so can I. Yeah. Did you hear that, that track coming in there? Mm -hmm. Got some uh, interesting music. They tried to kind of spice things up a little bit. <laughs> so, oh, I see. You just float around to like a freaking barrier now of treasure. Watch out for the dolphins. <laughs> They're going to come for it. You got to get to that crystal, bro. <laughs> Do you know where the crystal is? Isn't it usually on the right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just taking the shortcut. It's also funny to see all like the freaking like weird fish and stuff doing like essentially like synchronized swimming. <laughs> the crystal's got to be around here somewhere. There it is. Wow. <laughs> Those dolphins didn't try very hard to stop you. <laughs> wow. I gotta say, man, this game is, is <laughs> much more intense than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> It's about as intense as I expected. I mean, honestly, <laughs> honestly, like, I thought this game was going to be, like, straight up, like, educational, where it was going to be, like, you know, teaching you the alphabet or something. This is, like, Echo with training wheels. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, you know, this isn't quite as, like, you know, baby hand-holding as I thought it would be. You know what, this but is man, almost... this is stupid easy. You know, honestly, like, I think if you're going to have to play this game, I would say, like, play this game before you play regular Echo. Yeah, this might be a good chance to sort of, like, Just get, get used to the mechanics and the gameplay style, design yeah. style and stuff like that. But look at that. This, like, already... training wheels... Yeah. This is the tutorial for Echo the Dolphin. I'm already like one third through the Echo Jr. Uh huh. I wonder if there's a big fat whale I gotta. You gotta poke the whale in its belly. I wonder if like the later levels aliens start showing up and you have to. <laughs> yeah, you have to. You have to win a spelling bee contest against the <laughs> alien. <laughs> it's like, how can they make this game even more kid friendly? I don't know, man. Anyways. Uh, well, it was fun to check out. It's Echo Jr. Yep. It's just more of the same. Yeah, yeah. No, it's all good, man. I think I think we'll call it good. Uh, you know, I, I don't think we need to play through the whole game, honestly. Yeah. Uh, so we'll come back some other time on Operation Pixel with more fun and games. I just think it's cool that I was able to play as an orca. Yeah, that is pretty cool. And that my orca could bounce over rocks. <laughs> All right. <laughs>